Hey, what's going on guys? This is Average Mo, and tonight I want to talk to you guys about something that's been really been really been bothering me actually. Um I want to talk about reviewers out there and no, before you guys freak out, I'm not talking about Dancy. Dancy's one of my good friends. Um I go to him for everything. Um he's very helpful. He does awesome reviews and he's been strictly 100% honest with everybody about his uh, beard product reviews. Um, so let, let's get back to the topic. Today I wanna to talk to you guys about bullshit reviewers. And, and there's a lot of reviewers out there and there's there's some good ones too, um, you know, that I personally follow and I'll definitely do a video on that, good thinking guys. I'll do a video on people that I actually follow as well um, that, I, that I consider really good reviewers and that I, I, you know, I take their tips and I, and I try myself and I base my, you know, my product selection and purchases on what they say, not all on what they say, but you know, most of the products that I have in my, you know, my beard collection is from people that are um, doing reviews. And, um, let's just put it this way. I used to follow like 20 reviewers. And now I'm down to like maybe, maybe five, I would say. I'll have to look and see. But anyways, you know, there's some uh, reviewers out there that like to, I, I call them product hungry. Um, cheapskates, bums that, um, you know, that they, they, they start they start messaging companies and hey, you know, I'm a reviewer and I want to give you an honest review on your product. I'm I'm really seem interested in your product and and um you know I was gonna see if you would send me, you know, some of your products so I can do a review on it. You know, some companies are like, Yeah, sure, let me do that for you. What happens? Let's say about four, five, six days later, they receive their products in the mail. Here's, you know, Tiny Tim unbuckling his seatbelt or looking through out the window and there's the mail, man. I got to go get my product. All of a sudden, you know, they get their box in and look at me, beard mail, beard mail, beard mail, you know. But then all of a sudden, like 30 minutes later, they got a review up on YouTube or a day letter putting a review up on YouTube saying this is the best stuff they've ever used. Well, what, a, what in the hell are you basing it off of, son? Are you basing it off the wrapper? You know, the little wrapper thing that you take off on the beard oil? Or are you basing it upon how well you cut open the box? Or the label, the scent? What are you saying? Like, what, explain to me what exactly you mean by this is the best product I've ever used. Because you haven't even tried it enough. You know, typically you want to try a product at least. Let me tell you what I do. At least what I do. You know, what they do... I'm not sure because I'm not going to sit there and, and message every reviewer that I think is bullshit and be like, how long did you review this product? Because God knows they're going to sit there and tell you they reviewed it for a month, but they've only had the product for three days, right? That's another topic too because, you know, this is all just goes in together. But I like to try, I like to test out a product for at least five days before I say if I like it or don't like it. Um... And the reason being because my beard is a little bit, um, a little bit different than others. Uh, you know, typically the first time I apply a product, I'm still feeling the effect of the product that I used previously. And I usually feel that way for about two days. Um, you know, I, yes, I do. I co-wash every day. I do a beard wash, um, probably, you know, once or twice a week, but you know, whenever I'm using a product, to test out, I use it for five days because I want the effect, the softness, the texture of my beard from the stuff that I used previously to be out of my my face, out of my, my beard for at least a good three days before I say, before I start feeling the effect of another, you know, another product. And then two or three days into it, I notice, and then I'll realize if it's good or not. Um, I take my time reviewing stuff because Companies, you know, they they work hard creating these products, and I believe that every company deserves an honest review. So, anyways, um, that's what I do. So, you know, fair warning, 
to you know my fellow followers and soon to be followers if you're sitting there and you're watching someone unboxing something and you know and they just oh man this is the best stuff i've ever used you ain't used it long enough jack so you're just doing nothing but making yourself look stupid and you are trying to fool the people but i know the people are smarter than you are and then also you're wasting the company's time and of course if you know I guess I can't say they're wasting the company's time because some companies, they get a high off of someone giving them a, a, an, the best review of their life after just opening up the box, you know. To me, that means that you're not doing this for a living. You're not doing this from the heart. You're just doing this as a hobby. And if that's the case, I don't want your business either. So, um, you know, that's just what I, you know, that, I just had to get that off my chest, guys. And Again, if anybody wants to do, want me to do an honest review on your products, you know, DM me on Instagram or, uh, you know, email me. My email's in uh, my uh, bio in my Instagram, and I'll be more than happy to link up with you and I'll do a review. Um, other than that, I hope everybody has a, you know, a great night. And if I don't talk to you guys beforehand, I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas.